Francine, blessings to you. Amanda, blessings to you. Haven't seen your name in a while, Amanda. Good seeing you, man. Yes, praise God. And do give us some hearts, likes, and do share, share, share. And I do want to welcome you to subscribe uh, to our Facebook. And uh, give us a follow. And also subscribe to our YouTube. Amen. Well, uh, let me go straight into the word for the month of June. Some say June, okay? Praise God. I believe that June is going to be a month of boom. Some say boom. June is going to be a month of boom. Okay, get ready for uh, boom, boom. Get ready for Pentecost boom, for power. Some say power. June is going to be a month of boom in every area of your life. In fact, June is the first month of the summer season. So things are really kicking up, amen. Things are really going up a notch and things are moving forward. Uh, but in the Hebrew calendar right now, we're actually in a month of Sivan. Some say Sivan. Uh, pretty much every uh, Gregorian uh, calendar, every Greek month is sandwiched between a uh, combined with two Hebrew count, two Hebrew months. And this month uh, is said still between Sivan and eventually Tammuz. Now, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth teaching about Tammuz. But Sivan uh, is the month of Pentecost. And of course, we just celebrated Pentecost two Sundays ago. And who here knows that Pentecost is not just a day or a one-time event. But Pentecost, Shavuot, it is a lifestyle. But there's also accumulated times, focused times. There's also times where God concentrates and things are released in a more focused manner and measure. So um, God is releasing a Pentecost boom power favor in this month of June. So I'm saying amen. I believe in this month of June, uh, there's going to be... Uh, a boom in your finances, a boom in your ministry, a boom in the fire of God. There's going to be a boom, boom that's going to take place in your life. Someone say boom. And uh, many people, uh, again, have said that how even in the last season, uh, there were struggles. Remember, don't snuggle with the devil. All right, There were struggles. There was difficulties, uh, heartaches, in a sense, warfare. But that had to do with the preparation to Pentecost. Don't say preparation. That had to do with the preparation to Pentecost. And as God tests our hearts in the midst of the preparation, uh, there begins to be the pruning and the exposure and the maturity and the growth. Can I get an amen? But in midst of that, now there's Pentecost, and now we're in the Hebrew month of Sivan. Some say Sivan. Does anybody love Sivan's chicken? Right, so June is the month of Sivan, who I feel the Holy Ghost, and what's really interesting about the month of Sivan is that it really is the month of birthing. Some say birthing. I believe in the month of June you're going to birth. Okay, why? Because Pentecost is about the birthing of the church. Pentecost is about the church of Jesus Christ being birthed in the upper room. So I believe in this month of June, God's going to birth some new things out of you. Can I get an amen? There's going to be a birthing. There's going to be an explosive boom birthing that's going to catapult you into the fire, the glory of God, into your destiny. So, uh, of course, Pentecost was the birthing of the church where the baptism of the Holy Ghost came upon them and tongues of fire came and there was such a release and such an explosion. So God is releasing a boom and an explosive power for you to birth. Come on. I speak a birthing to your dreams, a birthing to your prophetic words, to your destiny. Every single thing that God has promised you, let there be a birthing out of you and through you. In the name of Jesus. Someone say amen. So I believe in this month of June, there's going to be a boom. Someone say boom. Come on. Say boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. There's going to be a boom, and there's going to be a birthing. Can I get an amen? But this is where it's so good, because the Jewish scholars 
connotate the month of Sivan, this current month. They connotate or relate it with Jacob. Some say Jacob. Woof, I feel a preach in my spirit. They relate the Hebrew month Sivan with Jacob. And in fact, uh, pretty much uh, uh, most months, or I believe all months, uh, each month is related with one of uh, the, the Bible patriarchs, fathers of the faith. It's connected. There's a relationship. All right. But in the month of Sivan, it's related to the, to the patriarch, the godfather, uh, the father of the faith, called Jacob. And I want to read the scripture here because Genesis 32, verse 22. The Bible says, uh, we're going to read Genesis 32, hallelujah. Uh, Genesis 32, verse 24, okay? And Jacob was left alone. Have you ever been left alone? Have you ever felt like people betrayed you? People left you? People left you for dead? Jacob was left alone. And a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go for the day has broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Come on, somebody. Someone said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Someone said, I'm not leaving this place empty handed. Someone said, I'm not going to let go of this battle until I leave with rewards, until I leave with blessing, until I leave with bounty. I will not let you go until and or unless you bless me. Are you ready for mega blessings? Not only will God release the Pentecost boom of harvest, barley harvest, wheat harvest, financial harvest. Not only will God release the boom of Pentecost harvest. Not only will there be a new birthing. Come on, somebody. A new birthing of spiritual things. A new birthing of who you are, of your future, of your destiny, of your name, of your identity. Not only will there be a new birthing in the upper room of Acts 2, of Sivan of June. But number three, expect mega blessings. Some say blessings. Come on. Jacob says, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said to the angel, what is your name? Oh, excuse me. The angel said to the man, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then he said, you shall no longer be called Ben Lim, but you shall be called Israel. You will no longer be called Jacob, but you will be called Israel. Come on, somebody. No longer will you be called a heel grabber. No longer will you be called this name. No longer will you be identified as this. No longer will you be defined as this person, this old man, this old woman, this old nature person. But I'm going to transform you and give you a new name before all called Israel, the prince of God, God's fresh prince of Bel Air. I'm going to call you my prince. Why? Because you wrestled with me. You did not let go. And this month of Sivan, June, is a month of blessing. It's a month of the new name. It's a month where you're going to be deemed and crowned and bestowed as a new name called Israel. No longer will you be known with the last season. No longer will you be defined, correlated, related with the old people of yesterday. But you're going to be called Israel, God's prince and princess. Can I get an amen? There's a name change. Some say name change. There's a name change. There's a mental change. Everything about you is changing. The Hebrew scholars relate Sivan, June, to Jacob. Well, let me tell you, no longer will you be called Jacob, but you will be called Israel. Can I get an amen? No longer will you be called Yaakov. You will be called Israel. And there he blessed him, Baruch. There he Barak. He released the breath, the blessing of heaven of God unto Israel. So Jacob called the name of the place, Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face. 
And yet my life has been delivered. The sun rose upon him and he passed Penuel, limping because of his hip. Therefore to this day, the people of Israel do not eat the sinew of the thigh that is on the hip socket. Because the angel of God touched the socket of Jacob's hip on the sinew of the thigh. My gosh, listen, in this month of June, there's going to be a boom and a birthing, and there's going to be a mega blessing. But you're going to be transformed because you went through the wrestling. Has anybody been going through a wrestle match? In fact, the Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We do not wage war against flesh and blood. That word translation means wrestle. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood. We wrestle with high powers, spirituality, principalities, and high places. We wrestle. Some say wrestle. And because you wrestled, you won. However, it touched you in a way that left you marked, left you changed. People of God, there's a famous saying that says, don't ever trust a leader who does not walk with a limp. Do not ever trust a leader who does not walk with a limp. It doesn't mean that they walk with a monkey on their shoulder, a bitter chip on their shoulder. But it does mean that if you want the new name, the blessing, the greater glory, you will have to endure much trials, testing, and persecution. So I'm saying amen. In this month of June, God is calling you Israel. Let me prophesy to you. You made it through the wrestling match. You made it out. You won. Come on. Victory is yours. Victory belongs to you. Let me prophesy and declare to you. You made it. Victory is yours. You made it out. And God is about to call you Israel. It's interesting because this month, Sivan, is also mentioned in the book of Esther. And you know, Esther is one of my favorite stories. But Esther rose for such a time as this. So Sivan is mentioned in the book of Esther. So I believe that God is raising up the Esthers. Those people that have purified and consecrated themselves to rise up and to do what the world says they cannot do, to go against the grain of the day and to see a change. Some say change. Let the Esthers arise. And let the Mordecai's be honored. Some would say June boom, which is financial boom, June boom, Pentecost boom, harvest, because Pentecost, Shavuot, and every Jewish feast is related with harvest. Can I get an amen? And number two, expect June birthing. God's got to birth a new thing out of you and through you, just like we saw in the upper room. A great birthing. The Holy Ghost. And number three, in the month of June, God is releasing mega blessings. He's going to give you a new name. He's going to crown you with bounty. He's going to ordain you. He's going to define you as a new person, as a new being. Hallelujah. Expect these things for the month of June. Can I get an amen? If you're with me, say amen. However, I do need to warn you, people of God, as great things we are expecting and believing in the month of June, the tail end of June, it begins to enter into Tammuz, the Hebrew month of Tammuz. And Tammuz and Av, which is the month afterwards, they're known as, in a sense, months of sorrow, where some of the worst destructive hellacious things have happened to God's people all throughout the Bible and all throughout history. God is preparing us for what's ahead. God is getting us ready for the battles, for the wars that's ahead. I declare unto you that God is preparing you with a Pentecost power, harvest, and glory. He's preparing you and he's maturing you so that you may boom and zoom through, that you will pass every test. And even as we enter into Tammuz, which is the tail end of June, 
Jesus. That you will win the wrestling match with every contender and contester like Jacob did. Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. I pray for the anointing of God to come over you, to touch you, to anoint you, to empower you, to be like Jacob. No longer will you be called a heel grabber, but you will be called the Prince of God. No longer will you be called this, that. No longer will you be called a sinner, a loser, a nobody. But you will be called a child of God. Expect us in the month of June. I release it. I declare it. I prophesy it over you. In the month of Sivan, as we transition to Tammuz, in the month of June, expect a boom. And expect... A birthing and expect the blessing father I thank you for my friends watching today I thank you that we come to agreement with the word we come to agreement with the word of the Lord and I thank you Holy Spirit that you are anointing us for Pentecost boom for a June boom come on boom 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 some say boom boom in the name of Jesus for a boom for a birthing, hallelujah, and also for the blessing. Lord, bless your people today. In the month of June, you will win the wrestling match. And though your hip may come out of socket, but you're going to come out of the wrestling match with the blessing of God. With the blessing of the Holy Spirit. Some say hallelujah. People of God, this is Pastor Ben Lim. I'm so glad you joined us today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, for subscribing. Follow us on our YouTube. Follow us on our Facebook page. I speak God's mega and mighty blessings over you. And although this is recorded today live on Memorial Day Monday, I want to say God bless all of our military men and women, those who are in service. We're praying for you and your families. And God bless the lives of the fallen soldiers that have sacrificed themselves for the sake of this great country. God bless you. Happy June. Some say June boom. Listen, as we close, I want to hear your feedback. I want to know what spoke to you the most. What do you receive from this prophetic word of the month? Amen. This is Pastor Ben Lin. I love you. God bless you. May the fourth be with you. Shalom to you. Happy June.